Hi, this is a video on the LAX Universal Adjustable Neck Mount Flexible Support for Mobile Phones. Now basically, as you can see, it's a holder that goes around your neck to hold your mobile phone, leaving you with hands free. So I'll go around the box. So on this side, as you can see, we have the name and the uh, person modeling the actual uh, um, item. Now I bought this from TK Maxx for £4.99. Now I don't know if Amazon sell, sells this, they might do. I know you can get them off eBay, so my guess is that you probably can get them off Amazon. Um, on the side here, it says universal neck mount, flexible support, telephone portable. On the back here, just simple instructions um, on what the materials are and where to put the phone and how to make the adjustment is written on the back. And on the side, same thing written again, exactly like the other side. Now, this is what you get in the box. We get the actual holder itself and we get the phone holder which attaches onto the neck mount. So this is what you get in the box. The neck mount is made out of a flexible, strong wire. And as you can see, it's very stiff and holds its position quite well. And when you first get it, you're gonna to have to pull it out, actually fold it out to your requirement. Now I'll show you that later on in the video, um, how it looks, but Basically, it's a strong cable all the way around. Quite thick, I'd say it's about a centimeter in diameter um, in the thickness. And it has a ball mount at the top here, which is made out of plastic. So all this is plastic here. And the actual cables go straight into this and is glued into here. And at the other end here, we have a foam backing here, and this is obviously for, to go around your neck. And then the cable is covered in a plastic sheeting right round, and there's no seam whatsoever. So when they place this on, it must have been as a tube, and they just place the whole lot in one go. So there's no seam or anything to split on here at all. Now the phone mount, is like so and it is spring loaded a bit of a stiff spring but it's spring loaded it has a soft padding on the front with the words lax and a star on there and on either end we have the foam here and the foam up here to grip your phone and on the back we have the adjustment here and also the actual um, socket mount here to connect the neck mount. Now this screws off, so I'll show you how to connect that up all together because you get it in two separate pieces. And I'll show you now also this part of the socket mount can come off and reattach on like so. Now for the mount, it is capable of holding smartphones up to seven inches in length. So this is my iPhone 7 Plus and it simply fits in there like so. And that's how it looks. So it will take your iPhone XRs, your Maxes, your Plus and your Pro phones. It will all fit in here. Also your Samsung phones, um, the S9s, etc, S8s, S7s, they will all fit in here and Note phones as well will fit in here. So it has a limit up to 7 inches in length. So I'm going to put take that phone out and put my other phone in which is an iPhone SE, which is a smaller phone to show you that fits in there quite alright and shake it. 
and as you can see that phone is not coming out and I'll do that with the larger phone and I'll shake that and as you can see that's not going to come out of the mount. Now as I stated this mount can fit large phones and small phones. The mount itself which I didn't actually go over is made of plastic it's not a cheap feeling plastic and it's not an expensive feeling plastic it's just in between so just in case you're wondering what this is actually made of it's all plastic now to assemble it we simply unscrew this large nut here off the back and what you're going to do is with this large nut you're going to fold out the mount and you're going to place it and it must be placed this with the flat side here not that side the flat side first over the ball socket then we take the mount the phone mount now I always use the writing as a guide so you want because it's going to be facing you obviously you want the writing that way the right way up not that way so you place the mount and the socket here into the joint there it's, you're gonna have to snap it in so you listen out for the snap as it snaps in and now we just tighten back that nut now when you're gonna tighten the nut be careful with it you don't want to cross thread it you just want to carefully place it on and just slowly tighten to the point where you're almost going to stop then you stop turn it around face you face it towards you make sure you line up that straight and then you can tighten it a little bit more until it stops and that's it we've now got the phone mount on there. Now after you put the phone mount on this is roughly how it's going to look and now you're going to have to put it on your head over your head sorry so you put it over your head and I'll turn to the side for this to demonstrate now you're going to make your little adjustments here how far you want the actual phone away from your face before you put your phone in so you can either pull it a little bit and narrow it or widen it it's up to you if you widen it that if you widen it that way it's going to come closer to your face so if I widen it it's going to come closer to me if I more narrow it it's the further it's away from my face so once I've done that, you make your adjustments. And remember, this cable is very flexible and it will hold its shape. So you make your adjustments. You don't have to get the, this cable dead straight. You don't need to do that. Just as so long as you get your adjustments right. And once you've done your adjustments like so, then you can add your phone. Now, this is how it looks with your phone attached to it now I've got the iPhone 7 plus on here now that's how it looks now I've angled it down like so and adjusted it so I'll, that's how I've got it and I can perfectly watch my videos just like that now where this thing I find comes in handy is um, when I'm in the kitchen and I'm preparing my meals and if I want to follow a recipe on YouTube what I usually do is lean this lean my phone up against the window so I got my work surface here then a ledge and then my window is the, uh, straight in front of me and then what I normally do is I either have a little phone stand um, which I sometimes take to work and leave at work by accident and put my phone on there or I lean it up against the window now that's well and good but if there's some little detail in that video and I really need to really look at it 
because it's a distance away, I don't really see it um, too good. So for little details on a video, because the phone is so near to you, you can pick up. Also, at the same time as looking at the video, I can glance at what I need in the ingredients, what I need for that recipe or whatever. So by having this here, it's, it's quite good. It's, to me, it's good. So it's for following recipes and that, um, it's very good uh, to have this kind of thing. Now, as for sitting down and just chilling out and watching your video, I would say, I'd say that's also good. My wife thinks this is an absolute um, tacky thing to have <laughs> and she won't wear it. But I know sooner or later down the year, she will start to wear it and then I would never get this thing back. Now, another thing I noticed this is um, useful for is that I have a treadmill. And on the treadmill, I used to put my tablet on there and where the treadmill is situated in my house, the lighting above it, um, not so much in the daytime, but at night when if I go on the treadmill in the late evening, especially in the autumn and the winter, and I put the light on, because of the glare from the light and the angle of the treadmill screen to that tablet, I can see the bulb. So I would see parts of my uh, film or program, but there'll be a, a white bulb light there. Now I've noticed when I put this on and watch the same programs or films and just walking on the treadmill, I don't get that glare at all so I can actually see the actual film or program properly without no glare on the screen from the bulb so or reflection from the bulb on the screen so that's another good point of this. Another good thing about this when I am washing the plates and um, I want to see a video at the same time on my other wall where the sink is there's another window with a ledge. I don't have to put this on there because that my phone was getting soap suds on there and stuff like that, soap suds and water droplets um, when I'm washing the plates. And I find that this is so good when I'm washing the plates. I can wash the plates. There's no water coming on this at all. I can look at not only washing the plates, I can also see the video on here, the YouTube videos that I'm looking at or the films or the TV programs, and it's just brilliant. So for that, it's brilliant for doing things like that. Now, would I go out in public wearing this? No chance. <laughs> I would not go out in public wearing this. It is, first of all, it's gonna turn heads. It will turn heads. People are gonna give you a funny look, even with this color, even if this was in black, they will give you a funny look with this thing. So out in public, no. Chilling in my back garden on a nice sunny day, when we get round to summer, spring and summer, I'd say, and, and having a drink, brilliant. I'd, I don't mind that. That would be relaxing back in the chair and drinking. Brilliant, totally brilliant to have this. But to walk out in public in this, there is no way. Now, I know I'm gonna get questions about this now. When walking around with this, and this is bobbing up and down, will the phone come out and drop out of the holder? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to jump up and down on the spot. I'm gonna try and get away from my camera because I don't want the camera to shake. And I'm gonna jump up and down on the spot five times to see if this phone drops out of the holder. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> now, what we got is, because the phone's heavy, as you can see, it's bent, it's repositioned the actual um, cables. So, all I gotta do is reposition them back, turn the holder, and that's it. Now, you've seen for yourself, the probably weren't the best jumps, but as you've seen for it yourself, the phone didn't drop out at all. And all it done was, because the phone is the heaviest thing on this thing, all it done was just skewered the, 
phone holder and straightened out the wire uh, cable. So that's all what's happened, but the phone is still intact in here, in the phone holder. Now, now my two pence worth on the LAX Universal Adjustable Neck Mount Flexible Phone Holder. Now, for $4.99, it's not bad for what it can do. It's not bad for the price. So, so if you can get this for around about a fiver, uh, it's not bad. If you're paying more, I think you're just overpaying more than a fiver for this. It is a niche thing. It is a thing that, <laughs> it is a thing that obviously you cannot go out and about with it. It's something for just in your, or for holidays. So if you're on holiday and you're relaxing by the sea, or relaxing on the terrace or whatever it's good for that I, I say it's very very good for that so it's more of a holiday gadget and a, re, a chilling out gadget to have now its usage around the home to me is so so if you're washing plates and you need to watch something it's all right for doing that if you're following a recipe whether it's cooking or non-cooking recipe it's good for that as well because you've got the screen here in front of you. The screen can't get any splashes of, of mixture or whatever or foodstuff items on there. And you can simply do what you're doing basically like that. So it's as its usage as, as that. But for something to be taken around and about with you on the streets of England, <laughs> no, I would not do that. I would not do that. So all in all, I say, if it's a fiver, buy it. If it's more than a fiver, don't buy it. Try and look for it cheaper somewhere else. Disadvantages of it, I would say, one, it's the color. I think if they just left this in black, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be too bad. Because you, I've, I've seen this, obviously it's in this color. You can get a pink one as well. When I was asked at TK Maxx if they had the black version, they were sold out to the black version. So obviously people thought yeah, the black looks more stealth than this color. But as I said, I'm not going out in public with it. So it's all right. So the color is a disadvantage. Um, another slight disadvantage is this cable could have been a bit stiffer because as you seen it, when I jumped up, jumped up and down, it eventually twisted this out. Um, straight, it straightened it out with, with the iPhone 7. So if you've got large phones, remember the weight of that phone, you've got to take that into consideration when you're making your adjustment. And if you do move a lot, it is going to slowly readjust, um, straighten the cable out. But smaller phones, you're all right with that. Now, looking on YouTube, there's several videos of other manufacturers, people have um, doing videos of other manufacturers who manufacture this item uh, under different names. So I think I'm the first on YouTube to show this particular one from this particular company, Lax, on there. Um, but as I said, and most of them are all Chinese or Japanese people doing them. I haven't seen any European people or American people doing them on there. If I am wrong about that, please leave a comment down in the comment section. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down and I can understand that. Please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. Oh yes, one more thing. Don't walk around in public with this because you're most likely going to get laughed at. Keep it private, keep it in your house or your hotel room. <laughs>